a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Li Boguang Li Boguang was a Chinese legal scholar and human rights activist. In his capacity as the director of the Kuiming Research Institute in Beijing, Li supported farmers in seeking compensation for confiscated farmland. He was arrested in 2004 following his involvement in the Tangshan protest, which led to international attention being paid to his blight by human rights groups. Li was the victim of a physical assault in 2016. He died in February 2018, with the Chinese government attributing his death to liver disease. This provoked controversy, with media outlets considering his demise to be suspicious, given the Chinese government's track record on human rights. Teaching Li studied philosophy, politics and law at university, obtaining his master's and doctoral degrees from Peking University. In 1997, he became professor of law at Hainan University, but lost the role after being arrested the following year. Tangshan Protest Li became known to the international community in 2004 as a result of his efforts to promote the rights of farmers in the Tangshan protest. Along with Yu My Son and Zhao Yan, Li provided an advice to the farmers in Hebei province who were resettled to make way for the Tailingku Reservoir, some 100 kilometers east of Beijing. The farmers asserted that their compensation was not received as a result of corruption and misappropriation by officials from the local government, led by Zhang Yorin. A peasant activist, more than 11,000 displaced farmers signed a petition calling for the dismissal of the municipal party secretary, Jiang He. Bo Guang aided the peasants in the organization of the protest, gaining him international attention, and resulting in his arrest. However, he was subsequently released. As a direct result of the Tangshan protest Jiang Yorin was detained, and a crackdown on rights activists was instigated by the authorities. Other Farmers' Protests In the same year, Li published an article which examined the impact of corruption on the lives of farmers. The article, entitled, Can Citizens Dismiss a Mayor?, was published in Modern Civilization Pictorial, No. 12. Reportedly, Li Boguang also advised farmers in Fuan, a coastal city in the north of Fujian province. Once again, farmers sought to create and deliver a petition to the central government regarding a land dispute. A hallmark of the protests in both Fujian and Hebei was the immense pressure that was put on villagers by the police force to denounce Li Boguang and his fellow activists. This culminated in December, 2004, when Li was arrested by the police in Fuan. He was charged with defrauding farmers. Police reportedly searched his home in Beijing, confiscating computers and documents. In March 2005, AFP reported that Li had been released on condition that he remain in Beijing and have no contact with farmers or others seeking to petition the government about abuses by local officials. The actual date of release was later reported as 21 January. Religious Activism There have been claims that Li was affiliated with the Fengzhou Congregation, a Chinese house church situated in Beijing's Chaoyang district. Other members of the influential church include Gao Zizheng and Yu Jai, founder of the Chinese branch of International Pen. He also defended multiple Christians who had been arrested by the government, protecting them from perceived persecution. Death Li Boguang's death was reported by the Chinese government on 26 February 2018, with the cause of death attributed to liver disease. However, this description courted controversy with activists and media outlets alike considering his demise to be suspicious and allegations that the government report was not credible. Bob Fu, president of China Aid, demanded that the Chinese government provide a transparent account of Li's death. Christian Solidarity Worldwide also considered the death to be suspicious and refuted the official account as Li's health was very good prior to his death. The death served to return attention to China's human rights record and the welfare of those who oppose the authorities. The government's treatment of Li was already under scrutiny following the assault perpetrated by men with alleged ties to the Communist Party of China in 2016, and further threats which had allegedly been levied against him. International commentators remarked on the similarity between Li's death and that of Nobel laureate Lu Xi in 2017. 
Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?